The problem yeah. with fission, nuclear fission, is that you know nature creates energy through nuclear energy, right? Like the sun creates energy, nuclear energy. Now for transmission, we use photons because photons don't interact. Mm -hmm. And so photons are great for information transmission, but they're actually not great for energy transmission. For energy creation, you want nuclear to work. And the problem is because nuclear energy, you know, we built it with a bomb, we have dirty nukes, all those kinds of problems. We have Fukushima, Three Mile Island, Chernobyl. We don't innovate anymore on nukes. Imagine if when the first steam engine blew up, we said, oh, no more steam engines for a while, right. or very carefully regulated, billion dollars of regulation. Mm -hmm. You can't innovate that way. When the first airplane crashed, we said, no more innovation in airplanes, right? So we need a way to iterate on nuclear fission and eventually fusion and get them working safely, cleanly, passive sa failure, et cetera, if we're gonna find our way out of the energy trap. And the best place to do that is someplace like on the moon or Mars. Do you think that it's actually a possibility that they could get nuclear power to the point where it's not a, a detriment? Because w what everyone's worried about is a meltdown, right? Yeah. And we do have these old plants that are running, that are running on this. This is 50-year-old technology. It's crazy because right. there's no ability to shut them off. Right, very old technology. They do now have Gen 4 nuclear reactors that are passive fail-safe. So in other words, when they fail, they fail into a, when you pull the plug on them, they mm -hmm. fail into a state where there's no leakage, there's no problem. Right. Um, their default is a positive outcome as opposed to the current ones, the old ones, where if you unplug them, like, and yeah, these, even down. these Gen 4 are just Gen 4. They're not Gen 5, They're not Gen, Gen 80, Gen yes. 100, where we are microprocessors, right? right? And that so, should be something that people are working towards. I hope so. I mean, in an ideal world, we would just, the, the problem is if you have nuclear energy on the moon, how do you get it home? Right. right? So what you actually got to do is you got to rev it on the moon and you're using it there maybe to launch more satellites, more rockets further out into the solar system. And that's the initial use case. Um, but then eventually the technology gets so good, you can bring it home.